that is utterly absurd. Let's understand the general context of the legislation, first of all. We'll begin in the previous verse. If a man strikes his male or female servant or slave with a rod, and he dies at his hand, he shall be punished. In other words, if you're brutal in mistreating a slave or servant, if, however, he survives a day or two, no vengeance shall be taken, for he is his property. Okay. Now, if a man struggles with, if men struggle with each other and strike a woman with child so that she gives birth prematurely, yet there is no injury, he shall surely be fined as the woman's husband made demand of him, and he shall pay as the judges decide. But if there is any further injury, then you shall appoint as a penalty life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. foot. Looking at verse 22 in its own context, it's not talking about a bortus provocatus, an intention to cause a miscarriage. Additionally, it does not specify that there has been a death of the fetus, of the baby. It just says that it causes a premature birth. The trauma causes the woman to go into labor prematurely. That's all it says. These people have to take the text out of context and read things into the text that it does not say. Now, it could be a life-for-life -life situation in some situations if you continue reading. If there is a death, it's considered to be the equivalent of murder. We do have the term in Hebrew translated manslayer, manslaughter, which is also serious, which does not have to be a capital crime if someone could lay hands to the horns of the altar or go to a city of refuge where the Levites were. That is another matter. But in this particular case, it is not specifying that there has been a death of the fetus. Neither does it say that it was deliberate. This is a completely absurd, ridiculous argument. I don't mind when people can't read Hebrew or Greek, but when they can't read English and begin to pontificate on things, it becomes absolutely ludicrous. No, this is not even dealing with the issue of abortion. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. Blessings to your friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, a questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book, 
And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo. What the scripture actually teaches about the rapture. The snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, the Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you. Thank <laughs> you.